I'm not going to stop eating here because some guy in the Times doesn't like it. That guy in the Times this man was referring to is Pete Wells, restaurant critic for the New York Times, or as the Washington Post put it yesterday, the man once called the most feared food writer in America. If I don't love it, I don't swallow. Now, that does not make Wells as impenetrable as Ratatouille's Anton Ego. In fact, yesterday he admitted to some vulnerabilities as he announced his departure after 12 years, citing health reasons brought on by the job. In the column, he describes getting a physical while eating his way through his list of the 100 best restaurants in New York earlier this year. Quote, the terms prediabetes, fatty liver disease, and metabolic syndrome were thrown around. I was technically obese. Okay, not just technically. I knew I needed to change my life. Can we see <laughs> the top of your head, Pete? That's my nose. Wells rarely shows his face so he can review the food anonymously in restaurants, but in this article he did let his readers in a little, getting a peek at the physical toll of wolfing down the city's richest foods every day of the week. He discusses the, quote, alarming frequency of his peers dying young, like L.A. Times critic Jonathan Gold at 58 and Sunday Times critic A.A. A. Gill at 62, both from cancer. And yes, Wells knows on paper the job of eating a lot of great food should be pretty fun. Quote, the first thing you learn as a restaurant critic is that nobody wants to hear you complain, he writes. But as Wells' colleague Frank Bruni confirmed in an interview with the Times in 2019, the paper actually paid for his gym membership to combat this level of gluttony. Part of your job is to walk into restaurants wanting to eat. Right. And part of that for me meant not worrying, yeah. you know, about the, about the kind of uh, the caloric intake, corporal yeah. wages of that. At the end of the column, Wells says he ultimately came to this decision while away for two weeks, recovering from a hernia repair. During that time, he says he ate simple foods like soups and salads and realized that he is, quote, not my job. Wells says he has a couple more articles coming out, but this means there is an opening now. Pros, you get to eat a lot of good food. Cons, might have to go to the gym more because of all that food. Maybe you could apply it to be like the weekend guy. In New York, for ABC News, I'm Danny New.